Daryl Yap. Ah. Bakit atat na atat ang kabilang kampo na tirahin ang pelikula nyo, lalong-lalo na ang mom? Panay ikaw ang topic ng kabilang kampo. Nakakatulong po ba ito sa publicity ng mom? Paano nyo hinahandle ang ganitong tirada? From Jim Ray Biosa of DYAR 7652. Ako sa sagot, yes, kasi si Daryl, basta gulero talaga. <laughs> Hihina pa lang ako eh. No, uh, hindi ko al hindi I cannot speak for them, no? I cannot speak for them. If uh, they want me as the topic sa mga press con nila, wala naman akong magagawa doon kasi hindi naman masisingil ng Viva yun eh. Sayang. Kung nasisingil lang ng Viva every mabanggit yung pangalan ko, magiging producer na nila sana ako. Kaso wala eh, hindi na ma I don't know. I, I cannot. I cannot speak for them. Well, I just think it's poor promotion, and uh, I think they have to level up to talk about themselves. That if there is something to talk about them, no, I I don't know. If there's something interesting, no, I'm not yet. I'm not sure. <laughs> For your questions. Okay, by Zoom we have the Vismin Group and we have James Somoza of the Cebu Online Press. Maayong gabi kanimo, James. Hello, James. Ah, James, we 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 what lang di sound bilin. Can you talk, James? Can you open? Ah, can you can try talking? Yeah, there's no sound coming out. Coming out. Baka nakamute? Baka nakamute? James, can you talk again? There, there, okay. There, there, okay. Ayan, magandang po. Ayan, magandang po. My question will be, what do the public expect of the movie? Can we have the background music, please? To yes, can we take off, take out the background background music directly? Thank you. Ang totoo yung unang pelikula nangyari sa kang sa pagkukonsente ni Big Dan Rosario. Ah, dahil kalokohan namang yun na naisip namin na na umabot ng 130 million yata yung online. Pagkatapos ng eleksyon, sabi namin, anong gagawin natin ito? So, gumawa ng sine, nasa loob ng pitong araw, halos lahat nasa loob ng aming bahay. Ngunit ngayon, medyo may pressure na. So, there's been a real effort at storytelling, some level of filmmaking, and uh, the um, desire to authentically shoot in Ilocos Norte, as well as the deserts of Morocco. So, medyo siya na iiba. At trust me, it's a much better movie. Thank you so much, Senator. Now, let's hear from Direct Daria. Uh, sa totoo lang, you can't, hindi naman masasagot ng lahat ng nandito yun sa stage kasi hindi pa ako tapos eh. So, hindi pa nila alam din kung anong in-expect nila actually. We just finished uh, editing the film kaninang 2 a.m. So, uh, we just need to do some dubbing. The expectation, uh, I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe, uh, you know, same as Made in Malacanang, but in a 
but in a much more uh, heated version, kumbaga. Kasi, ano to eh, this is, uh, this is the story of the Marcus family before and after EDSA. So I guess, uh, expect na lang nila dito is, yung mga hindi pa rin nila alam, na yung hindi nila alam, mapapanood nila dito. Yung mga alam naman nila, alam na nila yun matagal na, pero pwede nyo pa rin namang panoorin sa iba. Yung mga alam nyo na. Pero yung hindi nyo alam, dito nyo lang mapapanood. So, you expect the untold truth, the harsh truth, and the painful truth in Martyr or Murder. That's it. Thank you so much, uh, Direct Da. Now we move on to our second question from Cebu Island News, Mr. Gerard pa Pareja. Sir Gerard? Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, I would just like to know uh, the time frame of the movie. Uh, since this is a trilogy, uh, what part does it start and then the second part? And then whether or not it included already the disclosure of the U.S. regarding their involvement in the Edson Revolution? Well, I will not discuss the premise of it, especially if kasama pa sa pelikula yung intervention ng U.S. Well, the time frame, we have 1954, We have um, 1983, 1989, and 2016. So it's actually uh, uh, at 1972. So we have uh, five uh, five timelines in one film. So you ju you just have to imagine kung gaano siksik yung pelikula, lalo na sa ano sa mga kasama staff kung nagpagod dahil period nga ito. So meron kami limang timeline costume, production design, so it's really a lot of work. And uh, when it comes to premise, you just have to watch the movie. No, I can, I can say anything about the story itself. But it's a uh, five uh, timeline. Siguro as a general rule, one can simply say na ito ang nangyari pag katapos namin umalis ng Malacanang at ng Pilipinas. Eto yun. All right, thank you so much, Senator and Direct. Okay, this question is from Jim Ray Biosa of DYAR765 Cebu and What's Up Cebu. For Direct Daryl Yap, ah, Bakit atat na atat ang kabilang kampo na tirahin ang pelikula nyo, lalong lalo na ang mom? Panay ikaw ang topic ng kabilang kampo. Nakakatulong po ba ito sa publicity ng mom? Paano nyo hinahandle ang ganitong tirada from J. Ray Biosa of DYAR 765? Ako sasagot, kasi si Daryl, basta gulero talaga. Hihina pala ako eh. I cannot speak for them. I cannot speak for them. If they want me as the topic sa mga press con nila, wala naman akong magagawa doon kasi hindi naman masisingil ng Viva yun eh. Sayang. Kung nasisingil lang ng Viva, every mabanggit yung pangalan ko, magiging producer na nila sana ako. Kaso, wala eh. Hindi na ma... I don't know. I, I, cannot, I cannot speak for them. Well, I just think it's poor promotion and uh, I think they have to level up to talk about themselves that if there is something to talk about them. No, I I don't know. If there's something interesting. No, I'm not yet. I'm not sure. Wala mo na rin eh. Alright, thank you so much, Senator and Direct Daryl. Now, ito po yung mga husunod po na magkatanong. Kasama po natin ngayon sila dito sa Las Casas. First to ask question is Sir Mario Dumawal from TV Patrol. To be followed by Lea Salterio of abs-cbn.com. Next is Stephanie Mayo from Baby Tribune, to be followed by June Lalim of Abante, and then Aster Amoyo of People's Journal, Malaya, and Showbiz Portal. And then next is Dali Ann Carbajal of Inquirer, and Ricky Gallardo of Business Mirror. So let's start off with Mr. Mario Dumawa. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, Senator Amy, good to see you again. Oh, ano man? Ako na lang ang sasagot sa'yo kasi si Daryl ayaw na. Yes, I know. Doesn't it work glad, no? That you finally lifted the mystery of what happened in Morocco. 
I mean, even I, no, uh, at my age, hindi ko alam kung nangyari siya after the revolution. So, why did you uh, uh, say yes to this movie? And to, uh, yeah, sa sa punto de vista mo, no, ipakita ko ano yung nangyari siya. Yes, uh, tamang tanong yun. Kasi ayoko na ikwento yes. itong mga nangyari. Sa totoo lang, uh, they were among the saddest years of my life and I had no desire to relive them. But, uh, dun sa nangyari sa pagiging patok nung uh, made in Malacanang, na-obliga kami na ipagpatuloy yung kwento kasi sabi ng lahat, ano nangyari pagkatapos no? Hindi umalis kayo. Ano nangyari? So, na-obliga ako mag-isip, uh, mag-muli-muli at uh, ikwento na na ang nangyari. Napakalungkot kasi ang tawag sa exile sa Pilipinas, yung taong mga tinapong. Ganun ang pakiramdam. Nadischero ka sa ibang bansa na hindi mo naman alam na sa hindi naasahang pangyayari, naglanding ka sa ibang mundo. At uh, I think it's an experience that uh, many OFWs and many Filipinos also undergo na sa utos ng pangangailangan ay eh, natatapon din kung saan saan. At napakahirap na sitwasyon nun dahil uh, siyempre uh, ang pangarap ay bumalik na makauwi pero sa kabila nun natatakot ka rin umuwi dahil sa mga nangyari sa nakalipa. Okay. Uh, ano yung mga lessons na natutunan mo sa Morocco? Uh, I'm, I'm sure sa struggles mo, no? Bilang uh, mother, of course, no? Uh, a wife. Uh, ano yung mga pinis mo na natutunan mo? Well, the reality is exile gives you 2020 vision. Um, you suddenly acquire perspective, allowing you to realize that you are not the center of the universe. But on the other hand, it's also not all your fault. With that, you learn humility and understand that um, other people have other feelings too. So. I think si AA ang tapat sumagot nun. Kasi nag-iba yung acting niya eh. Yes, Mula sa unang sine hanggang sa ikalawa. Hello? Yeah, Christine. Uh, ano yung uh, naging uh, challenge sa'yo? You know, to train this kind of uh, person, uh, an, an extraordinary woman na mahirap uh, ganito na nating na. Lang kahit si Dumaklas. Ah... Uh, Malaking challenge po ito sa akin, Tito Mario, dahil unang-una, um, hindi ako pwedeng mag... Um, walang bahala sa bawat exile na nagagawin ko dahil totoo ang nangyari ko sa totoong buhay. Pangalawa, yung challenge dito is yung maramdaman ko kung ano ang pakiramdam ng isang tao na nag-iisa sa isang bansa na hindi niya pinili. Ah... Uh, Yung challenge doon, mabigat, masakit, at uh, gusto ko panoorin niyo talaga yung pinigula para nalaman niyo po eh, kung ano man yung sinasabi ko ngayon. Dahil nung nandun ako, naramdaman ko yung, yung lungkot. All the more siguro nung time na yun. Okay. I want to see how uh, you will portray no? Mr. Rossi Amy. Thank you. Very, very well. Okay. My two my, my questions are up, Ms. Ellen. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kuya Mario. Up next is Leia Salterio of ABS-CBN.com. Hi, friendship. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Senator. Good evening, good evening. and the, the cast. Uh, uh, can I ask, can I ask uh, Senator Aimee, were you able to preview already the film, ma'am, uh, Senator Aimee? Or if, if you were able, if you did already, did you... Did you um, did, uh, ask direct Daniel to remove some scenes or did, did you disapprove any of the scenes? Well, sa totoo lang, sa pamagat pa lamang, ay nag-aaway na po kami. Yes. And until today, I haven't made peace with this uh, title. Um, but... Um, I also have to confess na hindi ko pa napapanood. Sabi nga ni Dario, alas dos ng umaga, nagtatapos pa siya. 
Uh, napanood ko yung karamihan ng dailies. So, nakikita ko naman per eksena. Pero, yung kabuuhan, surprise pa rin. Okay, thank you very much, Leo. Up next is Stephanie Mayo of Daily Tribune. Stephanie? Hi, good evening. Uh, my first question is for Direct Diary Diab. Um, how long did it finish? Uh, how long did it take you to finish your script? And dilang percent yung nilagay mong mga embellishments for dramatic and entertainment purposes? Uh, to tell you honestly, yung script talaga hindi naman natap, hindi naman talaga natapos. Yeah, so. You know, I have a very weird uh, system of making a, a film. That's why hindi ako mas, that's why hindi ako gusto ng mga nasa industry because I'm not from a film school. I don't know how to I don't know how to create a movie through science ikangan. So my, my my way of doing a film is very different. No? I can't I can't give you a percentage of what is for entertainment and all. Because I think a movie should be for entertainment, talaga, no? So it's a hundred percent for entertainment, but I I see to it out of respect to Senator Aini and to Bosbik, I have to make it a hundred percent based on the truth. No? So yung embellishment, yung paglagay ng mga konting nakakatawa, paglagay ng nakakaiyak, no? I think it's natural dun sa eksena na yun. And I'm not really very secretive about sa Medit Malacanian naman, sinabi ko, ang kakarelatean naman ng mga tao, ng common tao, ay yung mga maids. Ganun pa rin dito sa ganun pa rin dito sa Marty or Murderer, we will see ourselves dun sa maids. And of course, we will also relate to the Marcoses na family in crisis. So I cannot really say ilan na nakakatawa, ilan na it's, it's, a, it's a, you know, a roller coaster. Kung yung Made in Malacanang roller coaster ng Star City, I think eto, Disneyland eto. Kasi medyo mayaman na kami this time. Dahil ano eh, napanood yung Made in Malacanang, so meron na kaming pera. I mean yung prod, kami dito wala pa masyado. So yung prod, yun. Yeah, yeah. 